Let's talk about the victim mentality and how it's actually preventing you from using the law of assumption, from creating what you want, and from really having the breakthroughs that you want in your life. I talk to a lot of people, I see and I hear a lot of people, even when they know about the power of the mind, the power of the belief, and how the belief create the reality, and how assumptions that we create become fact, become objectified in our reality. They still play the victim game. And they so often are not even consciously aware that they play the victim game in the way they complain, in the stories they make, in the way they see themselves, and in just overall energy that they have, and just overall attitude that they have about their goals, their objectives, and what they try to create and manifest. You cannot use the law of assumption and play the victim at the same time. In fact, you can, but you're doing the reverse of what you're trying to you know, achieve. Because the law of assumption is there. The whole, the whole point of the whole teaching is to make you realize that you have a tremendous creative power, that you can create your reality and that in fact you, you are. And that your self-image, your self-concept, how you think of yourself, you become, and this is what you create and manifest and attract in your life. So if you understand that premise, and if you understand that, okay, this is what contributes to the achievement, the realization of your goals and desires, you have by default to understand that you can no longer remain a poor victim, poor me, blaming yourself, blaming others, blaming the world, blaming your lack of skills, knowledge and abilities, or God or whatever, for the lack that you have in your life or for the experiences that you have in your life. You have to step up, take responsibility for where you are, for what you've created so far, being like it's okay, and to choose to show up and respond differently, to choose to apply all those tools, whichever one you feel like are most adequate, most relevant, most, you know, best for you at this stage. But you have to give up the excuses that I don't understand, I cannot visualize, I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I don't have the money to buy a coach, or I don't have whatever, right? And I am strong on this because those are also assumptions. So if you keep on telling yourself you cannot visualize, that you cannot manifest, that it's too hard, that you cannot control your thoughts, that whatever stories are coming up, or that you keep on blaming certain situations, that you don't have the money, or that people around you are not supportive, or whatever it might be, you are keep on planting and making this harder in your reality. What you focus on, expand, and you get more of that. And so you really have to understand that you complaining about the same old shit or some new stuff is only going to bring more of the things you complain. Instead, you have to realize, what is my creative power? What do I need to focus on here? And I understand that it's a process. I understand that if you knew, it might be completely different from the way you used to see reality, the way you used to you know, respond and regulate and, and think about life, about yourself and the world. And it's okay. You are you know, where you are. You can start where you are. Nobody is competing with you. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You can just take it one step at a time. But please, drop the freaking victim mentality. You are not a powerless victim. You don't need to be saved. You don't need to be rescued. You don't need to be told what is the one single affirmation that is going to change your life. You don't need to be told what is the one thing. You don't need to be told all this crap. What you need is to tell yourself that you're good enough, that you're worthy, that you are everything that you want to be now. You have to know and you have to stop seeking for fucking external validation. You have to claim that power. You also have to understand that you are the power. I strongly invite you to start meditating, to go beyond your thoughts, to go beyond your emotions, to go beyond your body. I strongly Im invite you to start meditating on who you truly are and to start connecting to that greater sense of self and to let your intuition, your perception, your insight come from that place. To realize that you are the creative power, that you are one with all and all is one with you. 
but it's something you get through experience. You, I can tell it, you can read it, I can give you an affirmation for it, you can fucking write it, you can script it, doesn't matter. You have to get to this point where you truly experience it. And in my personal journey, meditation has been the catalyst for that experience. Everybody's different. I'm not saying it's the right thing for you. I'm saying it worked for me and it's still a working process. But you cannot be a victim and a creator at the same time. You cannot keep on telling yourself that you cannot visualize, that it's too hard, that you don't have the time, that you, know, you cannot control your thoughts and your mind and blah, blah, blah. You cannot keep on telling yourself the old story that you had for 10 years and start to expect different results. You have to choose. You have to choose what is the truth for you right now. You have to choose that you are a powerful creator and you have to choose and do whatever it takes to commit to this new truth, even if you're scared, even if you don't know how, even if you just do the best you can, even if your emotions were all over the fucking place today. You have to go back to your truth and you have to go back to it again and again. And you really have to stop seeing yourself as being powerless. And this is the story of the giant and the grasshopper. And we came into this land and there were giants and in our own sight, we were grasshoppers. Right now, you see everything that you want and you feel like, my God, it's the, the freaking giant. It's too big and I'm ridiculously small. It's so much out of my power. But you have to go beyond that and it's a process that everybody experiences. You have to go beyond that and to realize that it's in your sight that you are a grasshopper. And so the giants see you as a grasshopper as well. But the most important is to realize that your own perception of what you see and who you are belongs to you. And if you keep on seeing yourself as a victim grasshopper at the effect of all the giant forces of the world, you will keep on living that reality. Because life doesn't give you what you want, life gives you what you are and what you keep on affirming that you are. So stop blaming people, stop blaming the universe, stop blaming your lack of time and money and whatever. Take where you are right now, accept it, accept it. It might be day one of a new journey. And just do your best today to remain consistent to what you want, to affirm, to visualize, to always remember that your new story matters more than the old story. And that's it. You can no longer tolerate the victim mentality if you truly want to step into your power. With that being said, take some time to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you in my next video. Be well.